What up everybody, Blaze One Sports with some breaking news a couple hours ago, early Thursday morning. Urban Meyer fired from the Jacksonville Jaguars. It was expected. A lot of people questioned the hire. I didn't think it was a good hire. He just, he has this reputation and you can see it in him. He just seems disinterested. He doesn't really care about the game. As you can see on the screen, there's a list of incidents that happened with him. And I guess this Wednesday, former kicker Josh Lambeau says that uh, Urban Meyer kicked him in the leg when he was stretching in August. And then some people are saying that uh, that was the last straw for Shad Khan to fire Urban Meyer. But if it happened back in August, why is that barely happening now? As you can see on the screen, he hired former Iowa strength coach Chris Doyle. And then he resigned the next day. I guess players didn't want to play for him. He had a reputation of being racist and picking on the minority players. Then October 2nd, he was at the bar with that female who wasn't his wife. Then on the 11th, reports emerged outlining tensions between Meyer and players and coaches. And the reports are that Meyer doesn't address players by their names. He dresses them by their position, like tight end, hey, wide receiver, go over here, hey, you know, that's how he re he addresses players by their position. And he also addresses players by dumbass. So he says, hey, dumbass, go do this, hey, dumbass. So dumbass or their position, he doesn't use names. Like I said, he thinks he's higher than everybody else. And then on Wednesday, the report came out that he kicked uh, the kicker. He kicked the kicker in the leg while he was stretching as you know, an employee or anything, you can't be putting your hands on employees like that. He's lucky he didn't get beat up or anything. But that's totally uncalled for. Shad Khan, I guess, didn't know about Urban Meyer's reputation. Urban Meyer has a reputation of, um, I'll quote the analysts on ESPN. I don't know his name, but I was watching ESPN and they're all calling him scumbag, dirtbag. They're, they're, and they're really going at Urban Meyer. They're getting pretty... uh crazy with it and they're calling him a scumbag and stuff and everyone in the NFL knows he's a scumbag and this and that so sh supposedly Sean Khan I guess didn't know but he probably got caught up in all the hoopla you know trying to hire the next biggest name whatever the biggest name out there and Urban Meyer could have worked out but just from the beginning just from the moves that he made signing Tim Tebow and as you see on the screen all these dumb moves Watching the games, watching him on the sidelines, he just seems disinterested. He's at the bar after a game while the rest of the team is flying home. He's calling players not by their names but by their position numbers because he can't remember their names. Probably, you know, drunk or something. Calling people dumbasses and stuff instead of their names. Bad hiring, decision-making, just all around – like they're saying on ESPN, a dirt bag, I guess. And Shad Khan either, he probably knew and probably just didn't care. But anyways, Urban Meyer's record with the Jacksonville Jaguars was 2-11. and 11. They brought him in to help Trevor Lawrence to try to turn it around at the beginning of the season. When they drafted Lawrence with the pieces they had, I thought Jacksonville had a chance at the playoffs. If Trevor Lawrence was what they said he was going to be. <laughs> And now this is just bad for Trevor Lawrence's development because he starts off his NFL career with a clown head coach. And then a little over halfway through the season, he gets fired. So now he's going to have to deal with a new head coach for the remaining of the year, which will probably be his OC or someone. And then at the end of the year, he'll probably get a new head coach and maybe a new OC. And that's, that could mess up with his development. So... What do you guys think? Did any of you guys like the Urban Meyer hire to begin with? I didn't like it because his attitude and everything, but I liked it because he was a big name. Maybe he could help Trevor Lawrence. I've seen him doing stuff. But from the beginning of the season, you know, 2-11, and 11, it just looked like it was a disaster. So I didn't like the hire, I guess, from the beginning. And he's out. He's just doing too much. You got to get rid of him. You can't wait till the end of the season. Shad Khan had enough. If everything is true, what they say, I mean, it is. And then, you know, the video and hire and fire the next day and just everything, calling people dumbasses and by their positions. It was time for him to go. He should have never got hired. So what do you guys think? Do you agree with the firing? Do you disagree? 
who do you think should get hired next year in his replacement? Who should be his replacement, the Jaguars head coach? I would like to see Eric Bieniemy. maybe. That would be a good fit. Uh, what do you guys think? Thoughts, comments, questions, opinions in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Breaking news, Urban Meyer fired out as head coach of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Will he go back to college? Who will they, who will they hire to replace him? Thoughts, comments, questions, opinions in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Blaze1Sports.